Now it's time to add a PHP extension to um, Apache. The first thing I want to do is to make sure that I have my port tree. So to get ports, you do like this. Port snap fetch ampersand ampersand port snap extract. This will um, in, this will download port tree and it will extract it to the hard disk drive. Uh, this takes some while, so I'm going to jump forward in the video. All right, so now we have port uh, the port tree installed. So before we begin to install the uh, PHP extension to Apache. There is a known error, which is that the PCRE will uh, fail to be because it needs to be updated because it might be old. I've seen some of the users getting this problem, so this is the reason uh, I'm going to describe how we can solve this problem. So if we look inside of, we need to go to the C uh, to CD to USR port and to devil, and then we need to go to PCRE. And in here we need to do the following command make reinstall clean you can select ok on this option so this needs to be updated before we can install the um, and the php extension or else we will run into some problems And we are now ready to um, to install the PHP extension, which should you do like this. In case the version number has changed, I'm going to show you how you can check which version are available. So CD to USR ports lang. In here, you can use the command ls uh, pipe grep PHP. Then we get the PHP folders. As you can see, the PHP is in 5.3 version here, so let's install it. cd php 5.3 then. And then make install clean. Here it's very important that you don't proceed without this. You need to go down to Apache, this. Build Apache module, or else Apache won't get the PHP extension. So press the space bar uh, when you're on that one, and then you can press OK uh, by pressing return after. So space bar to select and deselect, and uh, enter to continue. That's the important thing. Uh, if there are more questions, I'm just going to press OK on them. You can select packages you might want there. Uh, I'm going to jump forward a bit in in this uh, part because the compilation will take a time. Now when PHP is installed, we need to make some configurations to the um, Apache config file. I'm going to edit the USR local etc apache22 httpd.conf in here we should search for directory index. You can do it in VI uh, by making a slash directory index and press return. And it's down over here. Here we want to add, so Apache knows that we should look for index.php when we enter the web server. Index.php like this. And then we need to go to the bottom of the line. In VI editor, you can press Shift G, and it takes us all the way down there. Here we need to add um, add type, and notice the camel caption: big A and big T. Application slash x httpd php point php and we need to also add type oops 
application x httpd php source dot phps so these are the things with that we need just there to then we can write and save this and then we need to edit the uh, the php.ini file so cd to the directory usl local etc in here we need to copy php.ini production to php.ini Then we need to edit the php.ini. In here we need to jump down to the line 1499. So I press this colon to make the to type 1499 because we need to remove the CME colon here in session.save path by pressing X there. Okay, this is okay. And uh, here we are finished, so we write and save here. Notice that this file is write protected, so in VI I need to make write quit and an excl exclamation mark to mean that we want to overwrite the file. We are now ready to restart Apache. Everything seemed to go okay, so let's try to make a PHP script to see if it works. We go to um, USR local VVV Apache 22 data. Here is where the, the web pages are located. Now we try to edit a file test.php. You make this php info like this and now if everything works okay go to our web browser and we type slash test.php and it successfully worked we have installed php together with apache next part is to install the mysql server <laughs> 